A very warm greetings to each and every one of you, my dear friends. Those of you who are listening to this audio message, I pray that God will bless you abundantly. Today I'm going to speak about the false prophets. Because these days we experience prophecies, we heard people speak about the future and they claim to hear the voice of God. But let us listen carefully and pray and I believe that God will bless you as you listen to this message. So what does the Bible say about false prophets? You see, friends, a false prophet is a person who spread false teachings or messages while claiming to speak the word of God. You see, in the Bible, false prophets also spoke on behalf of false gods. False prophets functioned in their prophetic role, I can say, illegitimately or for the purpose of deception. The Bible denounces false prophets for leading people astray. As we also hear and even we have the privilege to meet those kind of people in these days. So let us be aware of the fact that in the last days, so many false prophets will come and claim that God speaks to them. In the Old Testament, the actual term false prophet does not occur, but the references to false prophets are evident and abundant. For example, in the book of Jeremiah, we encounter a clear description of false prophets. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in, in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries and delusions of their own minds. Jeremiah 14, 14 and we can only see Jeremiah 23, 21 to 33 and Zechariah 10, 2. The primary uh, difference between men like Jeremiah, a true prophet of God, and false prophet was the source of information. Rather, rather than speak the word of the Lord, false prophets delivered messages Messages that originated in their own hearts and minds. You see, friends, sometimes when we, when we meditate, when we pray, there are times that even our own minds can play trick. Our own feeling, our own emotion can can speak to us. I heard people people came to me and said, Pastor, I I heard voices. Uh, I told them, don't listen to voices, but listen to the word of God. Because the word of God is 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 anointed, inspired by the Holy Spirit. I doubt when people claim that God spoke to them. I don't deny that God can speak in a marvelous way to lead us to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. But let me tell you, we really have uh, to, be, to be careful. Because one day we will understand and we will understand till it is too late. So let us wake up. People speaks of their own hearts. People speaks of their own minds. This is what the Lord says. You see, if, if you read the scriptures, 
you will find that uh, the Lord said, I didn't, I didn't tell them to speak, but they, they just prophesied of their own hearts and minds. So do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They, they fill you with false hopes. Yes, we heard false hopes everywhere prophesying that if you do this and you do that, then you'll get this, you'll get that. Oh, my friends, beware of the false prophets. Because of popularity, they are trying to fool the children of God. They speak vision from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. If you read uh, Jeremiah 23, 16 and Ezekiel 13, 1 to 7. From such thing, God distances himself from all these false, false prophets. Because God himself said, I did not send these prophets, yet they have run with their, with their message. I did not speak to them. Yet they have prophesied. You read the scripture, Jeremiah 23, 22. So today let us also look at um, um, another difference between true prophets and false prophets in the Bible. True prophets are motivated by loyalty to God. Above all else. I hope you understand. Whereas false prophets are motivated by self-interest. And a desire to be popular among the people. Let us read the scripture. 1 Kings 22, 13-14 I believe that the prophet of God should not seek popularity. The real prophet of God will tell people the truth, whether to the king, whether to a politician, whether to a great man, whether to a rich man, to a poor man, to anybody. The real prophet of God will speak the truth and truth alone. Because Jesus Christ said, if you know the truth and the truth will set you. You free. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I, I remember how, how I heard one time a uh, person said, God spoke to me that this problem will not come to this land. But day after tomorrow, things happen otherwise. I said, Is that prophecy true wrong prophecy it is it is it is of maybe of the devil because people said they heard voices and this is the problem for our christianity today and so many of us are misled that's why I request people, instead of listening to somebody who claim to hear from God, please open the Bible, open the Word of God, read the Scripture, and I tell you, you will be blessed. Yes, you will be blessed. Uh, you see, often false prophets were hired for payment or spoke their Messages for financial gain. For example, if we read the, the scripture in Micah 3, 11, Nehemiah 6, 12, 13, Jeremiah 6, 13, 14, Ezekiel 13, 19, 2 Peter 2, 1, 3. Her leaders judge for a bribe, her priests teach for a prize, and her prophets tell fortune for money. Yet they look for the Lord's support and say, Is not the Lord among us? No disaster will come upon us. If you watch YouTube, or if you, you may have seen it by yourself, 
you may have experienced it with those people how they trying they're trying to prophesy you'll get money you'll get this you'll get that then they will they will encourage us to believe what is not written in the word of god so my friends be very careful why i want to come to you to tell you this truth i know some of us don't want to hear this kind of truth but it is the truth that's why with all humility i say to you let us come back to the reality and that reality is sola scriptura the word of god and the word of god alone i tell you when you read the word of god with prayer with humility with purity no no false teaching can enter your brain no false preaching no false prophecy no no false ideas because the scripture will teach you and will lead you into all the truth why i have to say so because the scripture is the inspired word of god and the inspired word of god is the anointed word of god so the anointing in the word of god will teach you to the truth and that truth is to know jesus christ crucified buried raised from the dead now he is at the right hand of god the father reigning as a king of kings and the lord of lords and he will come back soon he will reward the real preachers and the false preachers the real prophet and the false prophet it does not matter about popularity here on earth what matter is on that very day all of us will be judged even our thoughts even how we ponder how we think what is there at the inside of our heart that will be revealed in the last day so friends let us come to jesus christ and don't be misled by false preachings and false prophets go back to the word of god because the word of god will give us life will satisfy our hunger will fill us with joy and peace and the word of god will heal us the word of god will bless us and the word of god alone can lead us to eternal life may the lord bless you and keep you it is my prayer that jesus christ will be lifted up high above every name and the scripture says every knee will bow every tongue will confess and say that jesus christ is lord god bless you all